Well, hello YouTube. Uh, look, I thought I'd do a video now anyway. It's about 2.25 a.m. in the morning at the moment. I'm just mucking around with some stuff. Um, running a couple of scans, doing a couple of bits and pieces on the computer. Also, talking to chatting with a few people as well. In any case, um, I hopefully will have a better mic at some point. I'm gonna, well, I'm going to get a better mic. I've gone on to eBay and purchased myself a brand new Sony headset and a brand new, uh, hold it. it's a Sony headset and it's a Sony headset that I purchased and I also purchased, um, one of the, it's a PlayStation headset but it's designed to work on the PC as well and it's Sony PlayStation wireless headset and then I also got a 7.1 Razer Knights of the Old Republic headset, which is Star Wars. So it looks pretty cool, to be truthful. And basically I'm just mucking around with that. Um, also ordered a new hard drive kit for myself as well, on and off. Um, We got uh, USB 3.0 dual SATA, which has got a combination of um, uh, 2.5 and 3.5 SATA. Uh, getting that in the mail shortly as well. Also got some new heat sinkers and hard drives, which I'm going to be building some machines out of, which I'll probably work on some machines. And I'll work on some machines at some point. Uh, actually, I don't know. It depends on whether I get a motherboard tonight, tomorrow, or not. Uh, whether I work on a machine or not, um, I'm probably just now building it up from scratch anyway. Probably building it into one of the other cases I've got lying around. Um, I need to get some new cases actually. Um, what else? Uh, well, as I said, I'm going to be using a new headset with my new gaming stuff when I'm going to be doing gaming because my last video that I did, the sound was a little dodgy on the mic. So I can understand that because this mic. Well, I think it was this mic or another mic. I think I used either mic, but well, there was a couple of the mics I had which didn't really pick up that well, to be truthful. Um, I had a couple of headset issues. I, I, got, I got a refund on my Logitech G930 headset, and I'm getting a refund on that. That's going to take process of three weeks, which is rather frustrating, but you can't really do much about it because it's just banks and that's red tape really up until the point I mean they were the Logitech were good with the return process they simply said they wanted me to return the headset that's fine I'll return the headset with the uh, items in place and now I'm just waiting for them to process the refund for me basically um, what else uh, then the other headset that I had that uh, well, no, it wasn't a headset, it was a mouse. I had a Logitech mouse, which I need to replace as well. Unfortunately, um, that's going to take about five weeks to replace. I did send the information to them, and I sent it to, to, to their different email addresses. I was a bit of bother with that, because they couldn't get it on the first email address, which was rather stupid, to be honest. Uh, I thought it was a little stupid, and to be honest. I couldn't understand why I couldn't get it on that. Uh... Well, aside from fucking doing that, I'm waiting on that. I don't know whether I'll have to send the mouse back or not. Depending on the warranty claim, they may probably they may get me to send the mouse back. They may not. In some cases, I have had situations where they've got me to send things back and things of that nature. So it depends on the person. Um, what else? What's I've been mucking around with. I don't know, just, I've been playing a few Xbox games on and off, Halo Anniversary Edition, which to be honest, um, I actually like quite a lot. I played co-op with a friend, and to be truthful, it's not a bad little game. I mean, the Anniversary Edition was pretty much the redone with all the textures and everything else, and it still looks fantastic, even, even for the Xbox 360. Uh, okay, let me just have a little spiel on fucking the Xbox One. Um, I don't know, like, they're focusing on home, home entertainment, but the Xbox 360 pretty much does the same thing. Uh, I don't like, I don't know, there's a few systems that are going into place now that, uh, it's obviously just them money grubbing. It's them being very penny-pinching, 
which I can't understand. I mean, I can understand in some cases, but I mean, it gets to the point where you know the the penny pinching is ridiculous. The point where you're so tight around your own wallet that you don't want to spend that extra money if you have to, sort of thing. And the frustrating part is that I think with the Xbox One they've sort of shot themselves in the foot a little bit with some things. Not everything, just some things. The way this copy system works. I mean, look, I know they're trying to stop piracy. I know they're trying to stop supposed systems that have already come out. You know, I mean, look, I'm all for having a secure system, but at the same time... Um, not being able to loan games to friends and things like that and, you know, be able to help your mates out. You know, stuff of that nature. It seems a little stupid because it seems like they're trying to restrict things as well. I mean, I'm all for rules, but when it comes to the rules getting so strict that there's no point in having them in the first place because they're so strict that they're, they're just going to they're gonna make it... they're going to piss everybody off. I mean, I know you can't make everybody happy. That's not what I'm trying to say. But... Uh, a less restrictive system would probably be better, but I don't know. Look, that's their personal choice. I guess Microsoft's going to do what they do because they mon they monopolise regardless. I still recommend their products. I still recommend people where there are certain OSs and stuff. But I mean, they're gonna they're they're obviously trying to restrict things. And I'm all for a secure system. I'm not arguing there, but the thing that gets me the most, in some degree, is that. You know, like, if they're a little less strict and they sold things a little less cheaper, they probably make the money back tenfold by selling things a little bit cheaper. And it probably wouldn't feel as restrictive and people wouldn't feel like they were being locked into something. Which, I know that's an argument in Australia, like, especially when it comes to phone contracts and stuff, companies locking you into stuff and locking you into specific things uh, that you do. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Just it, it seems a little bit pointless and a little bit stupid to me. But I guess that's their prerogative. If they want to do it that way, that's their prerogative. But uh, it's just, it's going to, you know, you, you're naturally going to piss a lot of people off because of it. You know, you're going to leave people with a bit of taste in their mouth, which sometimes just being the, you know, making yourself seem like the good guy on the surface is probably the better in the long run anyway. Also got Battlefield 3, which is not bad. Played that. Uh, looks pretty good. Had an HD content. It's also got 3D stuff because it's 3D built into my monitor, into my monitor slash TV. Uh, it's pretty cool actually. Um, played, didn't play the co-op, but played the multi uh, single player, and had it pretty cool. Also got two of my other EA games were working, which I was having issues, but uh, I think it's because I, I registered this game basically. Um, I saw a few issues with some of my games anyway, but I'd gone, some, I'd done some stuff to fix it up on my EA account before, but they they were going to fix it over the phone. But anyway, I ended up going out and buying this. So yeah, I was playing a bit of that. Played Halo Anniversary Edition, which is not a bad game actually. Um, to be honest, I really liked it. Um, in the sense of what you can do in the game, 3D. It's also got 3D support as well. I should add. Uh, I wanted to play a co-op. Um, obviously got, you know, massive multiplayer as well. Uh, has this got multiplayer? No, it's got one, two, player. Oh yeah, it's got system link. Well, okay. No system link, but, you know, uh, online multiplayer is two to 16 players. Deathmatch and things like that. I haven't actually played the multiplayer, but I'll probably jump in at some point and have a go at the multiplayer. Um, this I haven't had a go at the multiplayer yet. Mind you, I haven't had a go at the multiplayer on PC yet, so I'll probably have to jump in and do, do that at some point. I also got Black Ops 2, um, mainly because I have a couple of friends and a few friends on the Xbox that play it, and it's got 3D support. These, all these games I should mention, they all have 3D support. Yes, it does, does it? This may not. I'm not sure about this one. This may not, I'm not sure. Um, anyway, I know this does. This has 3D support and this has 3D support. So this, what, this supports 3D, that does. So, I mean, to be honest, these games, I've been playing them, and... Uh, Considering their Xbox, they look pretty good. The next big thing on the horizon for me, and is ultimately going to lead me down a path of destruction. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it, that's ul ultimately going to lead me down a path of goodness and crimeness and stuff. <laughs> is GTA V, which that is ultimate. That is ultimately on the top of my list. I've actually pre-ordered, or not pre-ordered. Well, I have technically pre-ordered. I bought a copy of it from off eBay, and I'm waiting for it to arrive. Uh, which obviously won't be till the 
till the release date. But um, I bought a copy anyway because I wanted to have it on Xbox. If it comes out on the PC on Steam, <coughs> I will be particularly happy then. If it does come out straight away. <clears throat> um, what else have I been playing? I don't know, but I've been playing a combination of different games. I also got a little bit back into WoW. Which, I mean, I wasn't really good. I wasn't really great to start with it. I mean, I wasn't great at it. But I'm getting better. And I'm doing a bit better. I'm, you know, it's not too bad. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Uh, it's, it's a time, it's a time killer as well, you know, if you're not busy, or if you're just doing other stuff in between, uh, it's a bit of a, just general time killer sort of thing. I also downloaded Minecraft as well, and I bought, I got a copy of Minecraft, um, and a couple of different modification ones as well, like, I'll have a look at those anyway, but, um, I have to show you guys Minecraft, I'll show you guys Minecraft, Tech It, and Feed the Beast. Which is a couple of the mods that you can actually get for Minecraft, which are actually pretty cool. They're like add-on mods, which you pretty much like you can do modifications to the servers and things like that, and it's pretty much running around with that type of stuff. Um, that's not too bad anyway. Uh, I got Minecraft. What other games? I did sort of start playing Eve Online a little bit, but never really got into it. Um, maybe, maybe not. I'm looking at Mech Warrior Online too. I'm thinking of getting it, but um, I'm not getting it. But I'm thinking of playing it a bit more. But uh, I haven't really had any many people that I got on my friends list to play it with. Um, most people on my most people I know on my friends list are Xbox, PC, mostly Steam and stuff, and not a lot of those extra games that go out on the extra edge of it. Uh, aside from that, no. I've been, I don't know, I've been pretty defocused. I sort of broke up my, with my girlfriend recently, which sort of left me a bit heartbroken for a while. Um, I'm feeling a bit better now, but uh, even if feeling a bit heartbroken, we're still friends, so it didn't end on any bitter notes, and I didn't feel like we were... I didn't feel like we were being pushed apart or anything like that. I mean, it just didn't work out because we weren't compatible. Um, to be honest... Yeah, that was just the case. We we didn't work out simply because we weren't compatible with each other. We didn't have the same sort of thought pattern on most things. I was a bit stubborn. She was a bit stubborn in her own ways. And, you know, it happens. It's going to happen. You're going to run into disagreements with people, you know, especially when you're in relationships. So I wasn't really, you know, I mean, I'm, I still want to be friends with her and she knows that. And she's still friends with me. I haven't talked to her for a little while. I talked to her a couple of days ago or whatever. But um, aside from that, I've been talking to my new my usual mates on Xbox and PC and stuff. A bit on Skype and stuff and things like that. I also muck around a bit on uh, videos and things of that nature. But like, I mean, to be honest... Um, no, I've, I've been pretty good otherwise. I've just been doing my own business stuff mainly doing that, I mean, that's mainly but what I've been focusing on, selling reconditioned computers, things of that nature, basically just focusing on that if I can, uh, having a drink in between, obviously, I love, my, I do love a good beer, um, mostly on weekends if I can help it, uh, what else have I been doing, um, I, I don't know, I've just basically been doing my own thing, pretty much settling back and just doing, handling my own stuff, getting my own stuff in order. And feeling pretty good about it at the same time. So, I bought a new mouse as my... I think I did a review on it. Yeah, I did. It was the Razer Taipan, which, to be honest, it's not a bad little mouse. I have found it pretty good in the sense of using it. Uh, lovely 800 and... 8,600 something, or 8,000... What's the DPI on this? It's 8,200. 8,200 DPI, which is good. Which is good. It's pretty much the same as my other mouse that I had. Um, nice DPI, runs very smoothly, does very well, shoots very well, accurate targeting. Most of the time I'm pretty good with most things, they're left for dead or otherwise. Uh, most of the other games I've been chucking at it have been pretty good as well. Uh, I'm getting a 7.1 sound, uh, 7 .1 sound headset at some point, which this one is, this is a cheapie, this is a $35 one. But uh, I get a, got a little bit more of a better one. Uh, this nice little Republic uh, headset, if anybody remembers that from Razer, which they brought out a while back. 
Uh, I got one online for a good price. Uh, I'm also waiting on a Razer Sabertooth controller um, to for Xbox. Uh, the stock that I want to get from EB unfortunately has not been in, so I'm waiting for them to get stock in, obviously, and then I'll uh, bring it home and I'll give it a test and run around with it, basically. But I mean, it's basically a wired controller, and it's it's got a pretty it's got a pretty good margin on it, and it's got mechanical mechanical buttons as well compared to your normal controllers, which don't have those because the mechanical buttons are a lot more responsive, especially I can I mean everyone knows the difference in something like this. My mechanical keyboard response times, especially when you're moving around and doing things and interacting with things, is much more better with something that's mechanical in the long run. Um or whatever, that's what I found anyway. Uh what else I've been doing? Well just different combinations of things really. Um building machines percentage of the time Mucking around with some of my own machines. Got to fix a relative's machine at the moment, which at some point I might have to do that. I'll probably work on that tomorrow, most likely. Uh, what else? Well, all the usual bits and pieces. Just, you know, enjoying myself, trying to get along with life, trying my best not to get depressed. I mean, not that I'm really depressed. I haven't been depressed lately. I've been in a pretty good mood lately. And I've, I think I was holding on to a lot of bitterness and anger. And because I came out of this relationship, like the, the, this relationship that I was in was good. I, I enjoyed the relationship and I didn't, it's not as if I felt like I was, I didn't feel like I had to be angry or bitter at, at her for anything. I think a couple of times I've just, I've had a few women on my view and other things just screw me over with in the sense of just like playing mind games and stupid shit and just doing dumb ass shit, which I don't like anyway. I don't like that shit, and that fucking doesn't fly with me. If you play mind games with me, you can get fucked. Um, that's the same with people who fucking feel like they need to troll everything, or they fucking need to... Well, some people deserve to get trolled or to get knocked down, because they are. They're, they're, they're douches, and I'm not going to argue that. But I hate it when people knock down people who are on the underling side just because they want to do a particular thing or they do something a particular way. It's rather fucking stupid and it's retarded in my mind because it, it, it paints that person in a bad light and also, you know, it can do so much damage to people's self-esteem. I mean, to be honest, it doesn't bother me. I mean, I don't know. Well, this is my honest... I was anger and bit, angry and bitter for a while at a lot of people, different people in my life. And I think that's what happened initially. I was just angry and bitter. Just I was angry and bitter because of my mum dying... I was angry and bitter probably because of a number of different things and psychological factors in my life, which were which were which was rather fucked. Um, I couldn't really do anything about that, so I guess I was trying to lash out at somebody around me, you know, close friends. But I don't think I, I don't ever, I didn't even ever mean to do that. It was just something that I did unintentionally. I think it was a psychological trigger system that I had in the back of my head anyway. But I mean, to be honest and truthful, fuck it, you know. I am who I am. People either accept me for who I am, or they accept me for the way I do things, or they don't. That is their choice. Ultimately, it comes down to them. I'm not going to sit there and fucking argue with every bastard that comes along, because, I mean, everybody's got some type of critis criticization, you know, or, well, every everybody's got some type of way of criticizing you, if you know what I mean. They, they have... They basically have... People like to criticise. People like to judge. And it does shit me when people do that because I don't think some people have the right to judge or criticise because, you know, they're worse off or they're ten times worse and it's like, well, fuck, what makes you so fucking high and mighty, you know? Um, but, yeah, I don't know. That's just one of some of the things I've come across, to be honest. But, duh, whatever. My point is, <coughs> I was... I'm no longer bitter with people. I'm at the point where I just don't give a fuck. I don't care. People can do what they fucking like. That's their ultimately. It's people's choice whether they want to do a particular thing or not. They ultimately they're the one who lead to that choice, and they're the one who lead to that ultimate end, where they you know fix the fix things up and stuff. You know, so that's that's their choice. But doesn't mean I have to go that way. Doesn't mean I have to choose to go that way. Doesn't mean I have to listen to the person. It also, doesn't mean that I have to. Um, I can listen to a person, but I I don't have to take their advice. It's the same as somebody can listen to my advice and not take it as well. But at the same time, a lot of people have come back to me and said, well, you know, I probably should have taken your advice. <laughs> Which is funny, but yeah. Anyway, 
Then I've had a few people who think they're right all the time as well, uh, which is stupid because nobody can be right all the fucking time. Even I have my moments where I'm going to admit I can be wrong with some things, but I'm not wrong with everything. Um, I'm not perfect either, and I don't think anybody can be. It's just the perception that people perceive things as being perfect, and, you know, sometimes not being perfect is actually the better thing because you're not striving for the most spectacular line or the most spectacular drawing or, you know, whatever the fuck, but, you know, that's my point. Anyway, the point that I'm trying to make and the point that I'm trying to come across is that I think initially I was bitter, I was angry, I was probably a bit pissed off with people, but you know what, fuck it, I'm going to do my own thing, I'm going to be my own person. If people don't like that, that's that's their fault. That's that's their choice. They can get fucked. Um, I'm not going to sit there and try to accommodate to people's needs. I am my own individual. I am my own person, and I can't do much about how I make decisions or the way I do things because I've always done things this way. And to be honest, it always seems to work out for me. So I can't argue too much. <laughs> anyway, um, I was saying those three PlayStation games, which are pretty cool. Uh, I will do a review on the Ray, on the Razer Sabertooth controller, and I will be doing a review on all my on both my headsets as well. Um, the Sony one, Sony PS3 one, which is a combination of PC as well, Sony PS3 one, and the Razer Old Republic Razer headset 7.1 surround sound. I'm going to be testing the microphone on that, just seeing if everything's nice and kosher on that. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? I'm um, uh, hoping to do a little bit more video detail stuff, detail type video thing on. I was hoping to do a little more of a detail video on um, me building or my process of building. I mean, uh, I don't know. Sometimes I do it in stages. Sometimes if because because I don't I don't always you know. I don't always go through things really quickly. Sometimes I'll do things in stages. Sometimes I can build it within an hour. Sometimes I'll take two hours. Sometimes I'll take a couple of days because I won't. I'll build part of it and then go back to the rest of it later because I know it's going to be sitting there and everything else, you know. So um, I'll do it probably, try to do it in, say, an hour. I'll try my best to do it in an hour, sort of get all the parts and everything else together, show you how everything plugs in. Oh, I'll try my best. Uh, I don't know whether it'll be the right angle, though, but... Um, I'll try to get in there and show exactly people, so people exactly what I do with my builds, um, as well as my builds. Uh, also, I have a look at my gaming machine as well, my gaming machine under here, and I'll just show people the insides of that a bit. Probably run through that a little more. I mean, my gaming machine is probably something that's more modified than than most of the normal computers that I do in here, or do on my build bench because um, it's it's one of the more modern ones and on top of that more it's one of the more modern ones it's one of the more ones I work on because it's it's my own personal computer and I use it for virtually everything really I chuck everything I can at it pretty much all my apps all everything else you know everything I can chuck at it basically um, what else what I I'm thinking, yeah, I'll do a couple of builds. I'll also do a rebuild because I have to rebuild my nephew's computer into a new case, which I've got a new case out there and I haven't quite worked out what I'm going to do with it, whether I'm going to use it for another build that I've got out there somewhere or whether I'm going to use it for something else. Uh, at this point, I'm humming and hurrying because I'm not sure what I want to do. But I think I'll probably end up building my nephew's computer or my nephew in, in the house at the moment, building his computer into that case uh, and then I'll probably use that case for the kitchen computer I don't know and I could probably show the build process of me doing that anyway uh, I've also getting a couple of other motherboards I've got a couple of heat sinks and everything else uh, I think I'm waiting on a couple of motherboards to come back in I probably need a couple of computer cases as well but I'll get those computer cases at some point, some point later um, it's only frustrating part when you want new computer cases um, I don't always get them where I volunteer, so and I try not to tax them too much with volunteer and stuff. Um, so you don't always necessarily get everything like that in there. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Um, I haven't been in there for a while. I'll probably go. In, I think I'll go in. Yeah, I'll go in this week anyway. See how everybody is going 
at Charity Computers or CCA. Because, I mean, to be honest, CCA Computers is not that bad. Um, I've been going there for a fair while. They sell good computers for people on concession cards and in the sense of themselves there. Yeah, I mean, they're not a bad little place. And, I mean, they're a good, they're a good community type thing. They bring people together, they bring technicians together from all different walks of Canberra around and they get different volunteers in to do things and I mean it's 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 enjoyable, you know? It's it's very enjoyable in the sense that you can you get a sense of atmosphere, it's also good at Christ I mean, I'm not a Christian personally, but it's a good Christian environment in the sense, you know, that it's not forceful in the way they talk about things in that sense. At the same time, um, you go in there and it feels pretty relaxed environment, so it's pretty casual about most things. And, yeah, I've never had an issue with uh, CCA. Um, I didn't think I was there to let a few of the staff go and everything else, so that was, that was a lot of restructuring and stuff. And they're still trying to get people into the courses there. Uh... A lot of the courses they're doing, uh, basically they're doing like Cert 4, Cert 3, like, well I've done my Cert 1, 2, 3 and 4. Um, they got courses out on, so they got Cert 1, I think they got Cert 2, they run Cert 2 there, Cert 3 and Cert 4, um, in between, so they run them in the classrooms that they've got there, so they're pretty cool. Um, aside from that, uh, they've got more up and coming videos, I'm going to have God knows, a few different bits and pieces to be honest and truthful. Um, I'll try my best to sort of get some more videos going, uh, some more gameplay videos especially. I need to I need to eventually pick up a capture device for... Um, I'm hoping I can pick up a capture device for the Xbox, which will give me the ability to capture games on the Xbox and show you how I'm in the Xbox. I mean, to be honest, I'm not that great. I mean, I'm okay on the Xbox, but some of my controller skills are a little bit crappy. But to be honest, I'd like to show that I can actually play the Xbox and, you know, a bit of skillage and stuff. You know, I've got skills, but I mean, I, I mean, you know, I'm not fantastic, but then I'm not really freaking bad either. Um, <laughs> uh, what else? Yeah, so, yeah, anyway. I'm going to leave it there. Um, as I said, there's more stuff coming up. In my future videos, I've got stuff in future videos. Oh, I'm gonna have a couple of videos. I don't know. I'm definitely gonna have some reviews on those on that Sabertooth controller, on the headsets and everything else, and any new products that I may be receiving. Also, I'll be doing maybe a bit of testing on one of my USB. It's a USB SATA converter, which you can copy stuff over and copy data and everything else. So I'll probably end up doing something like that. Uh, what else am I gonna do? Um. That's alright. I'll end up doing any in, in any case. If I buy any new products, I'm going to be end up doing a product review on them anyway. Oh, by the way, uh, I need to do a product review at some point on my new modem, which is a Netcom modem, Australian-based company, and uh, Western Digital My 900, My Net 900, which 900, yes, no. Uh, I had the 750 originally. Now I've got the My Net 900 which is pretty cool. Um, I'll go through a few of the settings and stuff for that and what it's like as a product in general and how it functions. And then I'll also go through the Netcom Wireless one as well. That's, well, that's the name of the company, Netcom Wireless. It's actually used to be just Netcom. Uh, they changed it to Netcom Wireless a while back. And I ordered one of their newer modems, which isn't because I was having issues. I had one of their older modems, but it kept dropping. It kept dropping the the internet a lot. So uh, I figured, why yeah, not? I'll upgrade it. So I upgraded that in any case, and now I've got now you know got a fairly stable connection. I mean, you're gonna have your issues occasionally with your connection, but um, aside from that, no, everything else has been good. So look, stay tuned. Anyway, YouTube, um, I have got stuff coming up and. I'm just going to, I'll probably be doing a few product reviews. To be honest, it's 
there's next few, few things I'll focus on product reviews. That'll be the main thing, at least on the products that I'm getting so far, because I'm still waiting. Some some stuffs on back order, some stuffs still waiting to arrive. Uh, yeah, so combination. Anyway, stay tuned. Thank you very much. Catch you YouTube.